If your cell phone still runs on 3G, you may want to get an upgrade soon. That's right. AT&T will begin phasing out its 3G network starting tomorrow. Consumer reporter John Metteris has a heads up so you don't waste your money. 3G cell service is going away sooner than many of us realize, and it's not just going to impact your mom's old flip phone. People with older phones are rushing out to AT&T stores now that the carrier has alerted them its 3G service starts shutting down February 22nd. I think she has like a flip phone. <laughs> An old flip phone. An old flip phone. But Michelle Jones says for her older mother, it's really no laughing matter. She needs to buy mom a new phone before her lifeline goes dead. They said that they've just eliminated it across the board, the, the, the yeah, 3G, whatever. Verizon and T-Mobile will also end their 3G service, though later this year. It's all part of an FCC plan to free up spectrum for 5G. But Kevin Leary isn't happy, saying many people can't afford an $800 smartphone. I think it's bad. A lot of people can't afford these new phones. You know, they're so expensive nowadays. Now you might say this is not going to affect me because I have a 4G LTE phone, but it could still impact your family if anyone has a burglar alarm or some sort of senior alert service. Some of the medical alert devices. Dimity Orled of the advocacy group Pro Senior says it's important to ask your older parents or grandparents about what gadgets they use. We need to get the word out to seniors, but also folks that, you know, family members and friends that can make sure that they're checking if their device is going to still work. The AP meantime warns that 1.5 million families still have 3G home alarms that need to be upgraded. An AT&T spokesman tells us it's helping customers navigate this transition and will provide free replacement phones to a majority of people using older flip phones. The key is to check with your provider as soon as possible so your old phone or safety device doesn't go dark when 3G shuts off. So don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, KHOU 11 News.